Hello, my friends. Do I seem like a heartless person? Do I seem like a heartless person? That, that's the question for you. And you can let me know by sending me a message if you think I'm a heartless person or not. Now, the reason I'm asking you this question is because somebody commented on one of my videos and called me heartless. And I'm guessing the person called me heartless because I oppose illegal immigration. Opposing illegal immigration does not make me heartless. It makes me a law-abiding individual. It makes me a freedom-loving American citizen. My friends, I grew up following the rule of law. I've always been taught that we must follow the rule of law. We should, we should respect law and order. That's how I was raised, and that's exactly what I follow. And so when it comes to immigration, I apply the same principle. Immigration is a good thing, but immigration should not be, uh, th there should not be illegal immigration. The only proper way to move from one country to a different country to live and work there is through the proper immigration process. And so for anyone who has watched a number of my previous videos would probably already know that I, I do strongly support legal immigration. I believe that the United States of America is a country of immigrants and I'm an immigrant myself. I followed the proper immigration process to come to the United States, and now I'm a proud U.S. citizen. I became a proud American citizen in 2014. So my friends, I support immigration. I believe that immigrants make our country stronger. But what I oppose is illegal immigration. And for opposing illegal immigration, I have been called heartless. I am not heartless. I can tell you confidently, I am not heartless, okay? And, you know, one thing, one thing I'll tell you is that when I make these videos, when I uh, write different opinion pieces that get published in different newspapers, when I publish uh, my blog posts, when I publish my podcast episodes, obviously I'm publishing materials that people from anywhere in the world can read. You know, we live in the day and age of internet and so people from anywhere in the world can read my writings, they can watch my videos, they can listen to my podcast episodes. And by doing that, I obviously am opening myself up to the world and different people will react differently. Some of my readers and viewers will express their agreement with me as they do. I receive lots and lots of comments from people who say that they agree with my views. They express their uh, agreement um, using their own words and sentences, but the message uh, that I get is they appreciate my viewpoints and I get lots of compliments for speaking up and for saying the right things. And then obviously there are many individuals who oppose my viewpoints. They don't agree with what I say. They don't agree with my political ideology. They don't agree with my policy preferences. And obviously they have every right to express their opposition. And I do say that in many of my videos. I tell people, hey, if you um, support my viewpoints, please let me know if you oppose my viewpoints, you can also let me know that. You can let me know that by going to my website, tossifanam.net, by sending me a message. You can write a comment below the video. You can uh, find me on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you can uh, share with me your views on social media. And, and, and so I am not afraid of criticism. And I believe that criticism is important. I believe in dialogue. I believe in exchange of views and ideas. I believe in constant learning. I think by 
by expressing our views, by engaging in constructive debate, we can learn from each other. And that's a good thing. And obviously, in the United States of America, we have freedom of speech. First Amendment, freedom of speech. We have the right to express our viewpoints. And so, um, whether you agree with me or you disagree with me, feel free to get in touch with me and let me know. Uh, but I, I can tell you one thing. Uh, I am not heartless. That's, that's a comment that I received and I thought I need to address that. Um, you know, I, I, I basically have been called heartless for following the rule of law, for speaking in favor of law and order. And, you know, I will always support law and order as I've always done. And I think law and order is the foundation of our society, of a civilized society. We need law and order. We need the rule of law. And so, once again, I strongly oppose illegal immigration and I strongly support legal immigration. Once again, immigrants make our country strong. We need immigrants. The United States of America is a country of immigrants, but we cannot have illegal immigration. We need to secure the southern border, and we need to stop the influx of undocumented immigrants. Thank you for watching my video, my friends. Um, as always, please stay in touch with me. And one thing you can do is if you like any of my videos, please share those videos with your friends and family members. You can just copy the link and uh, send them a message, send them an email with a link to my video. Help me spread my word. Help, help me spread my message. And I appreciate that. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you once again. I'll be back with another video soon.